welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. Today we're going to look at moon phase meanings and uses while painting a 2023 calendar. Now while I'm painting this calendar, I'm going to go over the different moon phase uses, mantras, meanings, things that are good for spells, and much more. Join me today for Pagan Crafting and let us have some fun. She lights the way and invites us into the dark. The moon is a beautiful companion along your magical journey. Creating rituals around the energy of the moon has been in ancient traditions across many cultures for millennia. Each phase of the moon describes a different energy or quality. A special spiritual ritual can be performed around each phase to call those specific energies, new and full moons, or potent times to honor the great mysteries. But today, we are going to explore many of the moon phases. They are infinite ways to harness the energies of the moon and celebrate the changing phases. So starting off with some mantras, let's go through that first. We also have some yang and ying of each cycle of the moon. So you want to create life in abundance when you're working with a yang and a yang. By doing certain things at a yang lunar phase and by being a certain way at a ying lunar phase. So again, you're doing at a yang and being at a ying. So starting off with the new moon, this is from lunarabundance.com by Izzy Spencer. Now the new moon is a yang. And you would say, I set intention. I feel my intention in my body. It's a positive feeling based intention for that lunar cycle. Just make it about you. There are no spells on this cycle. This one is setting intention, goal setting, researching. Our next one is crescent moon, the yin. I relax into my intention. I breathe. As I go through the different mantras and the yin and yangs, and will we get into the meanings and the phases of the moons, and we will get into what spells to use to each moon here momentarily. The next is first quarter moon, which is a yang. So again, that is doing. I take a discerning action to support my intention. The next is gibbous moon for yin. I trust that I have perfect intention and is coming to a form of perfect time. The full moon, of course, action is yang. I move forward with my intention now, or I accept that my intention was not for the best of this time. I release it and course of correct now. Disseminating moon is a yin for being a certain way. I am grateful that my intention is coming into form, into a perfect way. I receive with gratitude. Third quarter moon is yang. Now that I'm receiving my intention, I give back from a place of abundance. Balsamic moon, yin. I reflect with thanks. I rest. I restore. 
So these are the different yings and yangs and mantras and th- that intentions that you could set through each of the moon phases. Now, starting off with the new moon, and we will end at the crescent waning. So the moon phases that we can go over, I'm going to go through different research that I've done online through my books. I have moon oracle cards, so I used some of the books that were came with the cards, put everything together. Some of this you may have heard before, some of this you may own these moon oracle cards, and it may sound familiar and some of this may be new to you either way if you have any extra ideas for the different moon phases that maybe i didn't cover i i'm always out for unique individualized something cool and new so comment down below if i miss something that you think i should cover in the next video new moon energy it's a clean slate it's a potential it's for dreams it's for reflection, self analysis a fresh start, new beginnings, and a new you. It's a time to establish a general intention for this lunar cycle. Clean up your altar, clean up your sacred space, clean your house. Open up space to invite in fresh new space. Plan out the next 28 days of what you want to conceive and achieve. If you have a spells or spell that you wish to work on for this next lunar cycle, start working on your spell, the first phase. So you're going to prepare it. You're going to set intention. Write some notes down what you want in this spell. You don't have to create it and search it and gather your ingredients just yet. But set your intention. Everything else will flow after that. Look up different lunar phases and that would be the best for this spell. Start doing a little bit of research and bring it all together. Now this lunar phase with the new moon is not a time for spells. This is a time for preparing and setting your intention, goal setting. This is a time of a rest period. Our next phase is the waxing crescent moon. Now this is a time of courage, moving forwards, a time of faith. You want to focus on your work, education, growth, abundance, and attraction. This is a time for long-term or material gain spells. For example, maybe a house that you're working towards, a dream job. This is a great time for spell work for money and career goals. Our next is first quarter moon. We deal with challenges, bravery, commitment. It takes action regarding your deepest wishes and desires and to address your biggest blockages with self healing. Use the energies of this phase to heal spiritual and at emotional levels. Self-esteem, self-love, family fertility, and powers of manifestation are great with this moon. Health and beauty treatments are also great at this time of moon. So, glamour magic. Throw some moon water in your shaving cream before you shave your face. Throw some moon water on your soap before you wash your face. Smist a little bit of moon water once again on your makeup brush there are so many different things you could do for yourself around this time this time it spells is for love luck and health include mental health in that my friend our next one is gibbous moon 
Now it's time to pause and be patient with this moon. It's time to tweak, hone, adjust, pause your action and observe. It is a time to relax. It is a time to analyze, plan, research, and get ready for the full moon. Organize your tools, gather your materials. For this is a time to pause and observe with your spell work. So this is also a second day, including the new moon, that you don't do any spell work. This is pause, observe, relax, reflect. Our next one is the most powerful moon of them all. We got the full moon rocking in here for you, my friend. It's about results, forgiveness, gratitude, the moon. It is a climactic state of awesomeness. The full moon represents the culmination and excess of everything you started during to the new, to the waxing moon. And any spells performed under the full moon will receive a boost of power. A change of success are greater than during any other lunar phase. This is a time for romantic spells, rituals for abundance, protection, love, wisdom, desires, attraction, banishing, you name it. This is a time for a power up all spells. So those of you that are new, this is just use the full moon once a month. Rock your spells here. If you want to get a little more advanced, you can get down and and dirty with each one of the moon phases. Let us continue. We have the gibbous waning moon here as well, my friend. That is also known as a disassentimating moon. It's time to relax, accept, and regroup after the full moon. This is an opportunity to remove negative energies for banishing rituals as well as at its finest during this time cord cutting uncrossing spells getting rid of negative feelings free yourself of negative energies this is a time for banishment this is a time for protection this is a time to free yourself spells the last quarter moon also known as the third quarter moon It's a time to reevaluate, balance, and trust. Finish your removal process and cleanse and close any pending issues and spells. Renew your inner energies. This is a time to be cautious, to give yourself a rest, to remove yourself. from negative situations. This is a time for justice spells and to remove enemies. Balsamic moon, also known as the crescent waning. This is a time for healing and soothing. The moment of closer time and reflection. Do not use this phase to make any big decisions, much like a Mercury retrograde, or start any new projects. So that includes don't sign anything new. Don't sign any new contracts. Don't make any new contracts. You can write them out. Don't play it out yet. It's a time to look back on what you have accomplished this last month and how you can improve and keep growing and perform rituals of gratitude and relaxation. This is a time for no spells to look back, reflect, and be grateful. Especially those of you that work with deities, this would be a time to give thanks and appreciation and replenish, renew any offerings if you don't do that daily. Again, there are infinite ways to harness the energies of the moon. May I suggest 
Starting off with moon journaling to track your intentions and manifestations through each of the phases of the moon cycle. For journals are a great tool in witchcraft, paganism, shamanism. For writing down your intentions and experiences and ideas that arise during your rituals. Now let's talk about ritual ideas. Let's just go back with the new and full moon times. Let's just break it down to the easy. I'm going to throw down some recommendations. Now I'm sure there are many more than what I lay down here. This is just a few things that I pulled from here and there. Now the new moon rituals are when the sun and the moon are in conjunct. The new moon is a time to plant seeds. It's a time of new beginnings. The start of a lunar cycle and a great starting point for an intention setting. Reach out, start a project, plan, research, dream big, create rituals around that you want to explore and expand upon. The new moon is the fertile dark from which new life springs anew. Think of unseen seeds swell and crack in the moist of the soil rooting down towards deep growth this is a time to manifest a dream work on a vision vision board write down your goals a longing wish desires or to plant seeds and ideas for a new project as the moon grows in light so will your intentions as you set during this time The new moon promotes new growth and gives a fresh start to lunar month ahead. Cutting your hair, your nails is a great new moon ritual if you want to speed up their growth, for example. Starting a garden or planting house plants. Sometimes doing some cuttings of your house plants. Starting some new cuttings afresh during this time helps establish strong roots in your plants. It'll also help Plant strong roots in yourself. Dirt work is always so grounding during this moon phase. Those of you that are green witches, forest witches, or work with elemental magic, dipping your hands in the earth as you plant new seeds is a great way to center yourself. Setting goals or aspirations during this phase that you would like to work towards or bring into your life. As the moon grows, your actuation gains power to eventually root your reality. It's now some new moon goddesses you may like to work with. Artemis, the Greek goddess, the huntress. She is a protector of animals and of nature. She falls often worship her on the new moon phase of the lunar cycle. Hecate, also a Greek goddess. The dark goddess she's known for, often associated with the dark moon phase. She is decipted and is a hag, a goddess of the crossroads, rebirth and death. She's also often called the goddess of witchcraft. Now let us go over some full moon rituals when the sun and the moon are in opposition. It may sound like a conflict is brewing when we say the planets are in opposition and indeed that is not unheard of but for most part the planets in this position are farthest apart from each other in their respective orbit. You often hear the phrase opposites attract. Sure, this is a dynamic tension between heavenly bodies that have the power to pull the tides. When the moon and the sun are in opposition, the sun is so far away from the moon that a full face of our nightly companion is lit up. Perhaps distance doesn't make the heart grow fonder. The full moon embodies self-expression and action. It represents completion, illumination, and celebration. This is an appendix of the moon phases, like a mountain peak. We have traveled far, now it is time to rest. 
and look back on our accomplishments and what we have left behind in any case this may be. How much have you grown in this past month? Honor the small and big and large victories. Honor them all. What are the questions arose this month or need to be illuminated further? What losses need to be honored? It is a time to let go and move on. Or should you build and shrine and remind us of the time that is now in the afterworld? Our emotions, even physical bodies, are heightened during this phase of the moon. Listen to the needs of your body and mind. This opposition of energy with the sun and the moon, the ego, the self, the inner self, the subconscious, can often create a tension, even explosions of emotions. Because of this tension is a great time to express yourself creatively, and your rituals can reflect this. It is a time to dance under the moon, draw, paint, Sing, write poetry, hum a tune, do a full moon meditation, get naked, dance by the light, my friend, meditate under the full moon and ground yourself to illuminate burning desires or questions you may have. It's a time when the answers and questions flow between the inner and outer worlds. Gratitude is important at this phase. Having gratitude for the accumulations of your intentions may have set during the new moon recognize your movement and yourself give thanks give thanks for the beauty and the light that shines down upon us every month while the new moon phase often feels solitary and independent the full moon is a good time to gather and be with your community the new moon is a time to set your intentions while the full moon is celebrating your manifestations however large or small Release your energy. The full moon marks the end of a cycle and the moon begins to grow again. Burning intentions. Lighting your intentions from a paper in a fire or letting go of emotions that no longer serve you are often seen as full moon rituals. As the light of the full moon grows, we foster the things we hold dear. We tend to the fires in our hearse and the moon grows dark and release and let go. Cleanse the space and the mind and the body during this phase. Full moon goddesses that you may wish to work with. A Celtic goddess, Hirduin, a keeper of knowledge and intuition. She represents the wisdom and inspiration. She is known as the goddess of the underworld. Selene, also a Greek goddess, a mother goddess linked to the full moon. Yimaya, from Yorba, a mother goddess of the ocean, water, and tides. Now there's different ways to do moon rituals. There are so many moon rituals you can do, so incredibly many. But a basic formula for brewing up a ritual could be as simple as lighting a candle or as in-depth as a long, fully scripted out group extravaganza. Your ritual may include just howling at the full moon or sitting in silence. You may envision gathering with friends around the fire, doing some cord cutting, or taking a solitary moon bath. To turn any action into a ritual, use your power of intention to make that intention reflect out bright as the stars on a dark moon night. Now, a basic formula for brewing up a ritual is get clear. Number one, get clear of the purpose of your ritual. Clear your altar, altar. even clean it down with some spray of moon water. Set up your altar. 
Reflect on the intentions of your ritual. Now clear your mind. Using visualization, meditation, smudging, essential oils, the wind, water, fire, earth. It's a witch's choice. If you wish, cast a circle. If you wish, call in the helper spirits and your guides. Often each of the directions of specific goddesses or gods or ancestors or spirits from all above or the below world can aid you. Again, a witch's choice. You can speak, chant, sing, write, play music. Just set your intention clearly for this time. Focus on the intention, build the energy by drumming, singing, toning with your voice or musical instruments is amazing. Chanting or dancing. Release your intentions to the universe and imagine them growing and developing into fully fledged manifestations. Ground your energies by literally or figuratively touching the earth and giving back to the power of the elements that spirits help and lend you. If you can, physically go into the water on a moonlight night. You are bathing literally in moonlit water. Imagine that. You may reopen your circle at the end and by thanking and releasing your helpers of any participants. At the end, again, send to yourself. If you'd like to decompress in some ways, ground yourself, take a few moments of breathing, possible journey. Again, give thanks. Stretch, take a walk. If you're in a group, now is the time to explore your different experiences and talk about the next moon plans. The potencies of your ritual stems from its importance to you and your intention. There are so many guidelines, so many recommendations for rituals. If you don't find one that resonates, try doing something uniquely you and celebrate your individuality. There's so many things you can find on social media, book of shadows, books, you name it. It is there, but what could you do to honor the moon? What moon phase, out of all the moon phases I went through today, what moon phase is drawing towards you for this month? Maybe just working with that one phase and working up the days towards that one phase for that one ritual, for that one spell could be a way to go. And don't forget about journaling. Journaling is going to be one of the most important things you could do. And I think the most important thing you could do in witchcraft, keeping track of your spells, the things you make, the chants, things you collect. If you're not really ready to design your own spells yet, maybe just designing and collaborating with other witches or bringing in spells, designing spells with taking, let's say, three different types of spells and writing your own together by getting in for inspiration for that. You could create an altar that reflects your intention for the month. You could change and you can make a moon altar and each month dedicate it to a different phase of the moon as you learn the phases. You can prepare yourself, clear yourself in the space. Choose supplies, run around your house and just choose things that represent the moon to you. If you don't have it, make it. Grab a dollar fifty chunk of clay from the dollar store and make your own moon crest. Set those up, paint them, learn about them, get involved with them. Every time you make those little moon crests, dip water of the moon water of each moon into that clay power it up with the essence of the moon you can simply choose a color of the candle that resonates with your magical intentions or choose a color that that you believe would resonate with the moon 
candles have a power in and of themselves. You can cast your circle with your sacred container. You can cast it with moon water as well. Blessings come ahead to you. Bring your intention to your circles. Raise your power and do something awesome with moon water. Get grounded and release the energy with each phase. There are again so many things you could do with each ritual phase. Taking the time to learn each phase is going to enrich your magical craft. Living by the moon is a wonderful place to be. It will change your life in so many magical ways. So it's been a pleasure hanging out with you today. As I lay down the last of the details on this painting, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. And with that said, you will see how I transfer my painting to a program online. And there I add my moon phase design that I did on this program. And I will have it for sale on in my Etsy store. There in my Etsy store, if you wish to purchase one, there's a 10% off coupon in the description down below. You can lay that in and get a discount code for that. And I have my Etsy store in the description below as well. If you wish to get a free one of these, you can join my Patreon, Pagan Craft and Patreon. Each member will receive one of these 2023 lunar calendars as an appreciation gift. Again, thanks for hanging out with me. I totally enjoyed our time together. If you like this video, throw me down a little like up if you wish to see some more videos with information like this ring that bell and i shall see you on the next video have yourself a magical day without further commentary enjoy